Today is Trinity Sunday. Trinity Sunday is a Sunday that is not associated with any feast but is a celebration of God, Father, Son and Spirit. As Christians, we believe that God is three persons and one God. And of the many things that could be said about the Trinity, I will choose three for our reflection and their implications. The first is, there is uniformity, there is unity in the Trinity. The Trinity is not God in isolation. The Trinity means that God is not an individual. The Trinity means that God is not separate, but God is united, God is community, God is three in one. The second aspect of the Trinity is that there is unity even in diversity. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Spirit, the Spirit is not the Father and yet though they are separate and distinct persons, there is a unity even in this diversity. And the third implication of the Trinity is that of the three persons, God sent the Son visible, tangible, human in every sense of the word to make God known. As Christians, we are blessed that we can talk about God who remains a total mystery because of Jesus. In Jesus, God has been made visible. In Jesus, God has been made tangible. In Jesus, God has been made incarnate and total unconditional love. The love that Jesus showed is a love that is unconditional, a love that does not keep a record of wrongs or rights, a love that is given immeasurably, a love that is given constantly and perseveringly. It is a love that does not hold back, a love that does not expect us to do anything to earn it. It is a love that is given gratuitously. What are the implications of these three aspects of the Trinity for each one of us today. The first is that we are not individuals. We are part of a community living not only among ourselves, but living even in this beautiful universe. The earth is indeed our home. The earth has been given to us in trust by God and we have to look after the earth as trustees. Sadly, we have destroyed the earth. Sadly, we have abused the earth. Sadly, we have treated the earth as nothing. And that is why there is so much of suffering in the world today because of the selfishness of a few. The haves seem to be getting more and more and more and the have-nots have nothing and even less than nothing. This is not the state of things as God intended. God created the world in order that we as individuals, as human beings, would look after it as if it were our home and would share whatever we have with others. When there is selfishness and self-centeredness, the Trinity cannot exist. When there is a division in community between the haves and the rich on the one hand and the have-nots and the poor on the other, the Trinity cannot exist. The second aspect of the Trinity is that we do not have to be the same to be united. We can speak different languages, we can dress differently, we can worship God in a variety of ways and yet there is unity because primarily we are human beings and as human beings we are united not only among ourselves but like the Trinity with the whole of creation and with the whole of nature. 
and the third aspect is that because God has been made visible in Jesus and made tangible love, if we have to make the Trinity present, we have to make that love tangible in our own lives. When there is sharing, when there is giving, when there is unconditional love, the Trinity is made visible and present again and again. Though God will always remain a mystery and beyond our finite and small minds, yet we have the ability, we have the power, we have the courage to make God visible when we love like Jesus unconditionally, constantly and perseveringly. On this feast of the Trinity, three persons, one God, let us resolve to make God present despite our differences. Let us be aware that because we are different, we can be united. Let us love unconditionally and make God known. A happy feast of the Trinity to everyone.